Hello, my name is Don Lupo. I am the Director of Sales and Marketing here at Acromag for their Process Products Division. Today I'd like to give you a brief overview, introduction into Acromag's new TT230 series line of signal conditioning. The TT230s are a line of thin transmitters, a full family of signal conditioning that accepts virtually any analog sensor input and will give you a universal 4 to 20 milliamp output. If you refer to the screen, I can give you a quick overview into the line. As you can see in the center of the screen, there's a product photo. The way the line is architected is sensor inputs are wired into the bottom of the package, and off the top of the package is where you will wire your 4 to 20 milliamp output and power. Over to the left, you can see that the product family supports RTD temperature inputs, ohmic inputs, thermocouple temperature inputs, thermistor temperature inputs, and other sensors like potentiometers, AC and DC current inputs, and even DC volts and millivolts. It's a full family. On the right side of the screen, you can see that this can be wired as a true two-wire uh, transmitter with a 4 to 20 milliamp syncing output, or it can be wired as a true three-wire with a separate DC power source and a 4 to 20 milliamp sourced output. The next slide will show you a list of all the model numbers in the family. Starting with the TT231, you can see that's used for RTD and ohmic inputs. The TT233 is used for thermocouple millivolts and so on. The next slide will, give, will help walk us through the key features and benefits of the whole uh, product family. Starting with packaging. As you can see, right now I'm holding a TT233 product. Um, Starting with the packaging, it's a 12 and a half millimeter wide high density DIN rail package. Off the top and the bottom are front facing screw terminals which are also pluggable. If I take my screwdriver and slightly pry, you can see that these are all pluggable terminals. Having front facing pluggable terminals helps you out in your panel. You can pre-wire your screw terminals and put in your DIN rail products later. Front facing screw terminals help you troubleshoot your, your products in your panel much easier. Also on a DIN rail, when you put these in your panel, you can see you can space them apart or you can keep them close together. They're very low power, there's no heat given off, so you can get more density in your panel for other things. Turning the package around, there's a metal clip which allows it to snap onto a DIN rail. So not only do you have high density packaging, you've got a very robust package and with this metal clip, this product line will, will support 50G shock and 5G's vibration within your panel. Moving on to PC interface, off the front, if you, if you uh, open the plastic cover, you have a USB port. Right now, these are USB configured with your Windows-based PC. There are no dip switches or jumpers to set. Uh, the operating systems that are supported today are Windows XP, Vista, Windows 7, and Windows 8. Okay. Under performance, these units are designed to operate in temperature environments of minus 40 to 80 degrees Celsius. Uh, as I said earlier, they support 50G shock, 5G's vibration. They have high accuracy, high stability. They've got built-in surge suppression on all ports and high isolation up to 1500 volts AC, 2100 volts DC. They're, as I said earlier, they're all powered between 12 to 32 volts DC power and they support in one model a 4 to 20 milliamp sink or source output. And the starting price for these products is $175. Now today I've got a very simple demo right here I'd like to show you just to illustrate that the same model, this is a TT233 thermocouple input, can be wired as a true two wire transmitter or actually as a three wire transmitter with a separate power source. Over here this panel meter is supplying 24 volts with a 24 mil, uh, excuse me, 4 to 20 milliamp input and you can see that I'm just powering the product with a 4 to 20 milliamp sinking output all from the panel meter. And I've got a thermocouple input right now wired into it. And on this product it's the same model, a TT233, only the power is being supplied by this power supply to the transmitter and I've got extra wires here to give a 4 to 20 milliamp sourced output to the panel meter. That's really it. I hope you uh, found the product line exciting. If you want more information, go to Acromag's website at www.acromag.com. There's more videos and other creative content to get you more familiar with the line. Thank you.